Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing a Ram 1500 Limited Night Edition. And the reason we're doing this review is because the new 2025 is coming out soon, and so there are big discounts on the 24. And so the question is now, do you go 2025 and pay full price, or do you get one of these discounted 2024s? Before we get into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. Link to their inventory in the description down below, and also link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. And this is the last year you can get this engine. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So this being a night edition package, we've got the cool venting here on the hood, which contrasts very nicely to the white paint. And that's a big part of the night edition package, right? Is having the blacked out elements. And then the limited does get these upgraded headlights here compared to like a Laramie, for example. Fog lights down below, body painted bumper with tow hooks and parking sensors and all of that. And so yeah, when you put it all together, I think especially in white, this is a really cool looking truck. And then around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 285, 45, 22 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see the wheels are darker in coloration, metallic gray. And then you got fender flares here with the limited package. You got the Ram logo there as well. Blacked out, mirror caps, door handles. And then uh, with the Ram limited, it does come with air suspension as standard. I don't know if we'll be able to see the canister here in the back. Eh, I can't really see it. But anywho, here is the full side view on this truck. And then take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We've got the tailgate drop down. We've got the air suspension lowering, then the remote start, and then the limited logo. And then popping into the bed of this truck, you got protection from the factory LED bed lights as well. And yeah, five foot seven bed for those of you that are wondering. This one has a tonneau cover from the factory as well. And then lifting it up, super light. All the badges and everything are all blacked out here in the back. And then you can see the center of the tail light also blacked out. And then you got the blacked out exhaust tips and so putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks here with this Ram Unlimited. And then inside, nice soft touch trim here and down below, you can see the wood trim that goes across. Uh, but yeah, really cool design, especially with the embroidery. We've got power side steps and then these leather seats perforated all down the center. You got storage underneath the seat. There you go. You didn't want to lift up at first. And then you do have the recline function and then we've got Ice buckets here in the back, heated and cooled seats here for the rear passengers, USBs, got a full outlet, got some wood trim, and then more of that embroidery. And then take a look at the front door panel again, you guys can see with all of the stitching and everything down below. Memory seat function, blind spot ring with the mirrors, and then some speakers here for the sound system. Uh, payload on this truck is 1188 pounds. And then yeah, look at the front seat here, really cool with all of the trim. Power adjustments on the side, and they got our light control here. You can see with the pedal adjustment, parking brake as well, and then nice stitching and all of that. And then take a look at the steering wheel. You've got nice trim all around, wood trim there on the center portion. You've got stuff like our adaptive cruise control. You've got your controls for the gear limiter, which basically just makes it so the truck can't go above a certain gear. Radio controls in the back. And then we've got this big digital cage cluster here with the limited package. You can switch between the digital and the analog kind of view, which is another cool feature. And then there's also a heads up display. And then in reverse, we do have a 360 camera system. So trajectory turn with the steering wheel and you can see how the different angles of the truck. A really good resolution, by the way. And then that's the rest of the infotainment system. It's the 12 inch display. So you got physical controls on either side for the radio, climate controls and all of that. Shortcut bar here at the bottom, which it does take a second for some of the pages to load up, but I mean, overall it responds relatively quickly. Trailer brake controls here with the trailer steering. This is for the air suspension to raise and lower it. And then you got your tow haul mode, parking sensors, stability control. You've got your little USB ports down below, wireless phone charging pad. And this has the cool sliding center console you can see nice wood trim on it limited logo here in the center and good storage as well and then you can see on the glove box it's oh, pretty solid I like the trim there on the outside i think that's nice and then soft touch all across the dash and then this does have a camera rear view mirror no it's gonna is that gonna pop there you go and then we do have a power sliding window for the back and then panoramic sunroof 
So there's a little bit of glare, so it's kind of hard to see the window sticker. But anyways, 2024 limited. After all options, this sticker's for 86380 But right now, there is a 10% rebate on these trucks plus dealer discount. And so with a limited, again, if you get one with a few less options than what this one has, so closer to like an $80,000 MSRP, well, after the dealer discount and the 10% rebate, you're in the 60s with a limited, uh, which... Yeah, I mean, you compare that to Ford and even to Chevy with their high country, and that's less money than both of those manufacturers on their fully loaded pickup trucks. So really good value right now and still has a Hemi. Anyways, let's uh, drive it and sum things up. Okay, so let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood and helping us with the heads up display. Both the mirrors to a blast wandering through the rest of the rear. And gonna be a little bit of a different uh, drive, but I've filmed so many reviews on the 1500, so I know exactly how this drives. I just wanted to kind of do a POV drive rather than uh, you guys looking at my face for me to sum things up with this because, uh, yeah, the new Ram 1500, the 2025, is only gonna have an inline six. So no more V8 and, you know, we'll see what happens when it comes to, you know, discounted pricing, if it is the thing with the new truck, but you can be assured whenever a new truck is released, it's not gonna have discounts, right? That's just how new vehicles are when they get released. And so this being the end of this, which by the way, that Hemi, you gotta love it. It's got great power. And the suspension on this is so comfortable with the air suspension. But yeah, since this is the end, you know, it's got discounts. And usually this is like, with most vehicles it's typically the best time to buy a vehicle because you get you know everyone's you know kind of over the vehicle so that so they <laughs> there's not a lot of there's not as many buyers so you can get a better deal on them and then the other part of it is you know typically manufacturers have had enough time to work out all the kinks right so usually the last years of a vehicle are not always but typically the most reliable of that vehicle and so yeah a little bit of a different drive, but just wanted to use this to kind of sum things up. Um, I think that if, at least in my experience, if you're gonna keep the truck for a really long time, this powertrain has been shown to be reliable, right? They've had this Hemi V8 for eons at this point. And so, yeah, if you're gonna keep the truck outside of the warranty, you're gonna keep it for a long time, then, you know, I'm not saying the inline six is gonna be unreliable, but like, we don't know. Whereas with this, we do know. We do know this is going to be reliable. We do know this is a reliable uh, pickup truck. So let me know your thoughts on the Ram Limited. Let me know your thoughts on the uh, current, I guess, deals going on these. Do you think it's enough? Uh, I think like, I mean, at least from my perspective, um, I, I think that's, uh, I, I think for a limited, compared to the rest of the truck market, I think it's pretty reasonable with the pricing. Again, like uh, if you, like this one's probably gonna be, um, what so it's 86,000 msrp eight percent or sorry ten percent i don't know why i said eight percent ten percent plus dealer you're probably gonna be like low 70s for this truck and so low 70s um you can't buy a uh you can't buy a denali ultimate for that you're you're in the 80s for a denali ultimate you're in the 80s for a ford uh limited and then with the high country yeah you're about the same price as a high country and i'd say that you know the silverado high country is a nice truck not as nice as this though um so let me know your thoughts let me know uh if you think this is uh worth going for are you gonna hold out for the inline six